YouTube, it's me again. Anyway, my second tag. What? I'm so happy. Anyways, I don't remember who tagged me. So, but I'm still happy, girl or guy, whoever it was. Anyway, <laughs> um, my tag is um five things that gross me out. Okay. So I made a small list. I don't even think it's five, but the things that gross me out the most, and I will um, tell you about them. They're not in any particular order. They all are equally disgusting to me, um, well, except for one, but it is what it is. They're all disgusting, so no particular order or fashion. Um, they're all gross. Anyway, first thing that grosses me absolutely out hair in my food. I don't know why it is. I don't know if, okay, it happens to me quite often. You would think that that would mean that I would stay out the restaurant, but no. I go out with my friends. We're all having fun. It'll be like six, you know, we go like four, five, eight deep, go to a restaurant. We all sitting down, everybody laughing, joking, chilling, having a good time. Get my food. Look down. Hair. Now, I wear wigs. Sometimes I put out my natural hair and I wear it curly. It's never my texture or the wig of the nice texture. It's red, blonde, or some other color in between. It's the waiter's um, color, um, hair color. It's disgusting, okay? I don't know why it happens to me so often. You know, if it was, it would be one thing if I was home, even that that's still gross, okay? When I cook or, you know, I, I'm like this, out of the way, you know, I have a sleep bonnet that I don't usually wear in the house at all times, so I don't have hair in my food when I stay home. Go out to a restaurant, hair in my food. I don't know, that to me is disgusting, because I don't know, oh my God, one time I went to a party, y'all, and the lady was dishing out food. And when she gave out the food, she, I was like, it was a, I don't want to say what it was, because anyway, but it was a party that I went to. I don't want to give too many clues, but in case the person, you know, people involved see the video, but anyway, I went to a party, and when I was handed my plate of food, there was a hair in the macaroni and cheese. And the hair wasn't just in the macaroni and cheese. It was entwined in the macaroni and cheese. So that means that it fell in, got mixed in, cooked, baked, and put on my plate. Now the person who was serving me the food, she took the food out and did like this. Here you go, girl. So she's seen it in the plate. And when I sat down and I looked, I was like, what the hell? It was a little nappy ass, I mean, a long hair too, because when I pulled it out, my friend pulled it out, and it was like, it had to like unravel through the macaroni and cheese. That's disgusting. But yeah, so needless to say, that plate of food went in the garbage. Note to self. Um, so yeah, don't do hair in my food. Number two, don't want to run too long. It's also food related. Corn. I'm oh, sorry, guys, my camera is messing up. Corn. Now, I don't know who to lie to y'all and told y'all that corn is good. It is disgusting. It smells bad to me. That is the one thing consistently my whole life that I've never liked and I never will, okay? I don't like corn. I think it's disgusting. I don't care if it's corn in the cob. It, cream corn is the nastiest thing on earth to me. I do not like corn. I know I'm not popular when I say this, but it's disgusting. It has, you know, from what I hear, it comes out whole, you know, at the end of the day. So why y'all eating it, people? Now, I happen to come from a, uh, a list, a long, big old family full of corn lovers. And I always have to endure it. So I've learned to tolerate it. But honey, if I go to a restaurant, I'm asking you if there's corn in there. And if there is corn in there, I don't want it on my plate. And if you bring it out on my plate, you're going to have to take this back. As a matter of fact, I won't even order that dish because you're not going to 
take my meat off and leave the corn remnants on my plate. I don't do corn. It's disgusting to me. I don't like it. I don't know why y'all like it. I wish I could start a movement against it. I just think it's disgusting. Okay? Um, I've only met three people in 31 years that don't like corn as much as I do. So I understand I'm in the minority, but that's okay. I don't like corn. Okay? The third thing that I do not like that grosses me out foreign water now foreign water is a title that I came up with in my own mind I was saying I'm saying at the time but there's no other way to describe it this is the example you ever been walking down the street or walking somewhere and then all of a sudden water hits you and you're like what the hell where did that come from have you ever been talking to somebody and out of the blue, you just get hit right here. Little speck. That you know is spit, but the water from the damn roof, you don't know if that fell off a dead bird <laughs> or off the roof of the house. You don't know if there was some bird turd on the on under the water, on the on top of the roof where the water dribbled down and then it landed on you. Oh, the worst, the effing worst. <laughs> It's when people go in the bathroom or whatever. When people wash their hands and they come around and they're like, and throw the water on you. I don't know if there's some fecal matter up under your nails. I don't like foreign water. Every, I mean, or when you go in the bathroom in the morning and there's water on the sink. You don't know if they were brushing their teeth. You don't know if they were just washing their hands. You don't know if they, if where that water has been before it got on the counter or on you. So in my opinion, that is disgusting. That is like, you want to do something to me? Put some water near me and I don't care how clear it is. You don't know what's in it. I don't like foreign water. This thing, the <laughs> Spray you with water? No, I don't like it. That is disgusting to me. I <laughs> just don't like it. So that was the third thing. Um, I'm not really bad on bugs, really. I can do bugs. What I don't do is them damn mutant ass. I'm in um, sorry about the cursing. I am in South Florida. When I moved here from Brooklyn, New York. I discovered that there were mutant roaches here. Now, these roaches you don't get from your house being nasty. You get from living in a damn swamp area that they done paved over, okay? They are called palmetto bugs. Those are the most disgusting things on earth, y'all. And they fly. They fly. It wouldn't be so bad if it was just a roach. You know what I'm saying? I don't do roaches either like that, really. But, you know, you everybody knows at least one or two people who got roaches in their house. And you go over there. You know, you love them, whatever, whatever. You don't put your purse down necessarily, but you go over there. Well, roaches, I mean, roaches I can deal with. Palmetto bugs that fly. Oh, my God. I could tell y'all endless stories, okay? Like, in, in, when I first moved here, and there was one in my room, and I slept on a couch for two weeks, I was not going back in there. You couldn't even convince me. Okay, so, palmetto bugs. Not necessarily bugs. I don't really care about bugs, per se. I just don't like palmetto bugs. They are huge mutant roaches that fly at you. They're disgusting, okay? Um... That's pretty much all that I have written down. So, yeah. So, I guess the fifth thing would be if I were sitting in a restaurant with a palmetto bug flying at me, corn on my plate, and the waiter dropping foreign water on me. That would be my ultimate, ultimate. Oh, and there was hair in my food in the process. That would be my ultimate, ultimate thing that grossed me out. That's the fifth thing. Anyway, 
Bye, YouTube.